Today on Play to Win, the NFL gets started finally this week, and Falcons fans are ready to see what 2019 will bring. Can they start off with a road win in Minnesota? And all the eyes of college football are upon the great state of Texas today. Will either team come through and make a statement? And of course, we've got our way too early NFL predictions for the season. It's all that and more on the fastest 30 minutes in television on football's Play to Win. Today's show is being brought to you by your Georgia Drive Chevy dealers, Chevrolet, find new roads, this is it barbecue, and Atlanta Peach Movers. Welcome to football's play to win with Falcons all pro defensive end Chuck Smith, Falcons all pro offensive tackle Bob Whitfield, play to win expert. Jeffrey the Edge Schechter. Player medical and injury reports with Dr. Sadiq Alamin. Falcons All-Pro wide receiver Terrence Mathis. And your host, Nikki Williams. Today's hometown team report is being brought to you by Montlick & Associates. Our attorneys know what it takes to win. Good morning, Atlanta. Thanks for tuning in to another week of Play to Win. There's no better way to wake up than to talk some football with our experts over here this morning. Jeffrey the Ed Schechter, Bob Whitfield, Terrence Mathis, and of course, Chuck Smith. Now, before we go anywhere with this segment, we're talking about what it takes to win. And we've got to give props to Georgia State taking over Tennessee. Right. Now, Chuck, I know that's your alma mater, so I just want to hear some thoughts from you well, on that. Well, Nikki, I thought that you know, another Georgia might have a high percentage of beating Tennessee, but I didn't know it was going to be Georgia State. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm watching the game. I'm getting hundreds of calls. I mean, I'm literally getting texts, everything like that, but give a lot of credit to Georgia State. They came out and took the fight to Tennessee. The quarterback was phenomenal. I mean, kudos to Georgia Tech. They outplayed Tennessee, but it's tough times right now up in Rocky Top. Biggest win of Georgia State history, and I think they can capitalize off of that, but they got to remember, hey, that was last week. Keep going. And add insult to injury, $950,000. That's what Tennessee has to pay. Hats off to Coach Elliott. He's got a program he can build. He's got great facilities, in a great city, and a great school. I think we're going to hear from Georgia State in the future. You got Coach of the Week. Go by Sean Elliott. Dodd trophy for him. Heck of a start. <laughs> Heck of a start. Now, the Falcons, Falcons are off to their start also this week. So I just want to hear from you guys what you think it's going to take for the Falcons to beat the Vikings. I think it will take for a win for those Falcons for Dan Quinn to call an excellent win. For that defense, he's the man. Call an excellent game. <laughs> I agree. Why y'all look at me? Y'all look Because it's a defensive thing. I agree. <laughs> you got to protect Matt Ryan, and he's got to spread the ball around, especially a lot of chances to Julio Jones, and I think they could win this game. Well, they got to match up with Cook, Diggs, Thielen, Rudolph, Irv Smith Jr. If they do that, stop them and give Cousins some, some problems, they'll win the game. We're going to dig into the Falcons a little bit later in the show, but right now I want to shift gears to Georgia, Georgia Tech and South Florida. Now, of course, we had Jeff Collins do his pref, press conference, and we've got a little bit of um, audio from that, so let's take a look. I remember junior and senior in high school coming here for unofficial visits to watch games as a recruit um, and then as a GA and a tight ends coach and director of player personnel being involved in games in Bobby Dodd. So it, it's going to be special. Um, but the thing that makes it the most special is just the guys that I've gotten to be so close with and having them have an opportunity to compete, play together um, and represent this great institution at a high level. That's the that's the thing that really matters to me the most. Of course, Coach Collins just now getting started. He's got a really young team. I think there's 55 freshmen on the team, so hopefully going to give him a minute to get the wheels rolling. And uh, Jeffrey, I know you want to pick the game, so give it to us. Well, these two teams lost by a combination 87 points last week. <laughs> but uh, Tech did play Clemson, and I think Florida, South Florida is terrible. Give the six and a half with the Jackets. Speaking of Clemson, they may be facing their biggest test of the season in A&M. We're going to dig into that in just a little bit. Stick with us on Play to Win. On or off the field, we all have rules to play by. But what happens after a serious car crash when the insurance company won't play fair? At Motlick & Associates, we know injury law and we know what it takes to win. After all, we've been winning in our field for over 35 years. If you've been injured, we're here to help. 
Simply dial pound win from your cell phone for your free consultation. That's pound 946. Own the tailgate with the new Georgia Bulldogs Big Bow Box. Only Bojangles brings the flavor to every dog's tailgate with chicken, biscuits, fixins, and tea. Dogs dig the new Georgia Bulldogs Big Bow Box. Bojangles, it's bow time, y'all. Some of you are Honda owners and some of you are Toyota owners, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Will you be surprised to hear that Honda is the most reliable car company? Honda's reliable. Well, it's actually not Honda. Really? Whoa. What? Toyota. It's not Toyota either. Whoa. Chevy. Based on a nationwide survey, Chevy is more reliable than Toyota and Honda. Wow. Get $4,500 total cash allowance on select Equinox vehicles in stock when you finance with GM Financial. That's 16% below MSRP on this Chevy Equinox. Georgia drives Chevy. Find new roads. There they are. <laughs> Honey, you look so college-y. Are we cool enough to hang out with you guys on Parents Weekend? What? Do we know you? <laughs> oh, that's so clear. It's Kelly. Oh, hey, who's up for a game of hockey, sack? Oh, or cornhole. Ooh. Hey, who's excited to see the old man? <laughs> what is happening? Where do we get those proud parent bumper stickers? Yeah. Play the Georgia Lottery and help students go to college on the Hope Scholarship. They may not be your kids, but it kind of feels that way. Young lady. Sweetheart. Hello. Today's SEC and ACC report is being brought to you by your Atlanta Nissan dealers. Welcome back to Play to Win. I think it's a, a kind thing to say that the SEC had kind of a rough week last week. I know there's some SEC East teams looking to make a little bit of a bounce back there. Even Michael Jordan had a tough day. Come on now. <laughs> hey, hey, that's yeah, the Michael fun. Jordan of conferences. So even, you know, we have Loser a bad day. <laughs> we have a tough day sometime. Well, who's got the best chance at a win in the SEC this week that's, you know, maybe going to make the SEC look a little better, shine it well, up a little bit? South Carolina should be Charleston Southern. That's That's like a... Payday game. And somebody's getting a payday by going to play Georgia, Murray State. Right. So that, payday. Yeah. I'm telling you who's gonna win this week. I got the upset same, special. Same. Got it. Texas AM, they're gonna knock off Clemson. That's oh, the game wow. I'm talking about, man. Woo! Woo! Y'all didn't say it with no confidence. I'm saying it with confidence. Woo! So but say you know add, add another one to this. Yeah, I know. BYU how, Tennessee. I, I, BYU, <laughs> Tennessee. Oh, we're gonna win that one. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. That. yeah. We got that BYU, but I'm telling you right now. Tennessee going to win, BYU going to win, and also like Vanderbilt to knock off uh, Purdue. Purdue. I agree. Mm -hmm. What about LSU, Texas? Oh, that's one of those. You know, LSU's got that new hire, Joe Brady from the Saints, so he's kind of taking a traditionally conservative offense and yeah. spiced it yeah, up a little bit. spreading it out a little bit, five wide receivers, throwing the ball around. That's good. That could be interesting. But Sam Ellinger, he made me a believer last year. When he knocked off Georgia, the quarterback, I mean, it's phenomenal where Texas has come, but listen to this. LSU, that offense right now, they average 32 points. They haven't done that in a long time. Last year, they were phenomenal. Well, to me, LSU, I think they're going to take care of it. They're going to win this game. Even Texas has the old favorite, Parker Braun, Georgia Tech guy. He goes to Texas. Now he's inserting that offensive line. And look for Sadiq Charles from LSU. He didn't play last week, so this will be his first week starting Back for the Texas ain't LSU got no Tigers. defense though. No, Texas got a Texas physical ain't got, team. They, got they, really physical they ain't got no team. defense though. Oh, they run around coaches, and fly around. Coaches there is in the country. So how you know? He coached <laughs> one year. He got one year <laughs> yeah. beating Georgia. What about in Houston? He's, no. a, he's a great coach. Come on, man. <laughs> that is Charlie Strong's team that he took over to over all the way. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Preach. LSU is five and four in true road games, guys. Jeffrey, how do you see the game? Well, Texas has got a lot of mileage out of beating Georgia in a, in a bowl game that Georgia really had no interest in. But I think they can hang in there with LSU. I'm, I'm going to take the five and a half with the Longhorns. Well, now we got a surprise for Chuck. It's time for our college football showdown of the week. Today's showdown of the week is being brought to you by the Georgia Lottery. Well, guess what it is, Chuck? What? Texas A&M at Clemson. Yeah. He already, he already threw it out there I'm now. There. Go ahead and backtrack. You can backtrack. It's a new segment. On the line. I always come through. I always come through. And I'm going to tell you right now, I really like what's happening right now at A&M. The program's growing. I think Clemson's kind of, you know, smelling their own uh, body right now, if there's a way to say it. But I really believe A&M. I believe Clemson's set up to lose this game. A&M should have won last year. I think I'm putting the upset on it. Put my name on it. Plus, so Jimbo Clemson Fisher going down. is familiar with this Clemson team. You know, he's coached against them at Florida State when he was at Florida State. So I, I think it's going to be a really good football game. Uh, 
Run Clemson got board. just too much. Clemson got too much. He also coached against them last year, and they went down to the wire. See? Yeah, Kelly Mond had a great game last year against Clemson, but but Trevor Lawrence's bad game the first uh, last week is not going to show up again. Trevor Lawrence is going to run through those guys. Oh, got no sunshine. Oh, hey, oh, my I put my Rolling name on the line, but anyway. You did put we'll your see. name on the line. Yes, Clemson has won 11 of their last games by 20 points or more, so I don't know what you're Damn. saying about them smelling their own. It happens to smell yeah. their own body, whatever right. that meant. <laughs> Jeffrey, how do you put that? <laughs> A&M's going to score some points. I think they're going to be able to hang in, so take, take the 18 with A&M. Okay, guys. Well, when we return, it's time for the dog report. Got to hear what areas UGA needs to improve on before the meat of their schedule gets here. And later, can the Falcons D-line make the difference against the Vikings? We'll find out on Football's Play to Win. The 2019 Nissan Armada. Intelligence with an attitude. With zero down payment, lease Armada, just $468 per month. Oh, I'm glad you found it. Oh, we were just happy to get some time away. You're the first couple to try our new bed and breakfast bundle. It's bed and breakfast in the same room. You wake up to the smell of coffee and bacon, made by a private chef, right there. So we're sleeping in the kitchen. Well, I'm sure you'll write a better than that for the review. Stuck in a bad bundle? Get a great one. Bundle AT&T Fiber and Direct TV and get a $100 reward card. Limited availability may not be in your area. More for your thing. That's our thing. Call 1-877-ONLY-ATT. This is it. They got that new bucket on the block. This is it. Barbecue and Seafood presents the Back to School Bucket Deal. Get four pieces of our Southern Kitchen fried chicken absolutely free with the purchase of an eight-piece bucket family pack. I'm throwing in a half a gallon of free sweet tea. This deal includes two signature sides and bread, all for only $29.99. Free chicken, free tea, pickup or delivery. Order online at thisisitbbq.com. Today's University of Georgia report is being brought to you by Beaver Toyota. We're here to wow ya. Welcome to our Beaver Toyota dog report. We've got what you guys were calling earlier in the show a possible payday game, Murray State at Georgia. But there are some other things to look for if you're a dog fan. Uh, is UGA's O-line the best in college football? Is it too early to say that? Do we? I think I said it last week. They're yes, the best did. in college and probably the best in pro. So oh. <laughs> but look at Isaiah Wilson. He's go. hurt. Uh, UGA's got some injuries. So Cade Mays might go to right tackle. They have another kid, Jamari uh, Sailors, his name. He might be in at right tackle. But they can move and match those kids around. And they have a formidable offensive line that played as a good unit last week. Let's see him do the same thing again this week. I want to see Georgia's receivers kind of step up a little bit. You know, Demetrius Robertson last week did a good job to Juco transfer, but in the second half, there wasn't enough production. I'm looking for that big play receiver. They might not need it this week, but when Notre Dame comes to Athens, they're going to need this big play receiver, guys. But it's going to be interesting how Georgia, you know, step up. Because remember, they're about to run, but they're going to have to throw the ball to score touchdowns also. Yeah. Terrence, what you looking for? Well, I'm with Chuck on that. To compete in the SEC, you're going to have to throw the football. And you have to throw it well. And here's a game where you have an opportunity to, to work on those things and do well in those things. But again, it's a money game. We found out what happened last <laughs> week. Don't look past Murray State. Do what you have to do. Take care of business and move forward. Let's call a spade a spade. <laughs> here we go. This is called a stat game. Exactly. This is where you, exactly. this is where you get your yeah. stats all the Batting practice. Yeah. <laughs> so when you get your stats, what ends up happening is you got to get them before the third quarter. Right. You got to get your stats because, you know, at the end of the year, you want to have mm -hmm. number of catches, you know, sacks. You know how we do receiver, receiver, Yeah, you want some that numbers. They may be getting 950,000 like Georgia State. They're just not going to win the game. So. Well. And that's what our experts have to say. Now it's time for you guys to be the expert and play our Ippolito's You Be the Expert contest. This season, be sure to visit our website, playing2win.tv, and take a shot to be number one against all the competition by picking this week's college and NFL winners against the spread. We'll be giving away Ippolito's $100 and $50 gift certificates to each week's 
first and second place winners. So make sure you come back every week and prove your football IQ by being the best at predicting this week's college and NFL games. Ippolito's, a great neighborhood Italian restaurant. And after the break, we'll hear who our guys think will be in the Super Bowl. Obviously, early predictions here. And we'll talk Falcons versus Vikings. It's all coming up next on Football's Play to Win. Today's show is being brought to you by Montlickin Associates. Our attorneys know what it takes to win. Xfinity and Beaver Toyota. We're here to wow you. At Beaver Toyota, we have a vehicle for everyone. Hundreds of pre-owned and certified Toyotas. Plus, we carry Honda, Nissan, Ford, Chevy, and Kia. We have what you're looking for, even vehicles as low as $59.95. Looking for a new car? No problem. Take a look at our huge selection of Highlanders, Tacomas, and the all-new RAV4. Did I mention all these come with a lifetime warranty and oil changes? At Beaver Toyota, if we don't have it, they don't make it. Come check out the all-new Beaver Toyota of coming. Three words, liquid white gold. Dive into our queso today. On or off the field, we all have rules to play by. But what happens after a serious car crash when the insurance company won't play fair? At Motlick & Associates, we know injury law and we know what it takes to win. After all, we've been winning in our field for over 35 years. If you've been injured, we're here to help. Simply dial pound win from your cell phone for your free consultation. That's pound 946. Queso makes everything better. Yeah! Even steak. Dive into our new steak and queso today. Today's Atlanta Falcons report is being brought to you by your Georgia Drive Chevy dealers, Chevrolet, by New Roads. Welcome back. Now, before we start digging into the Falcons, we've got to make our <laughs> way too early NFL predictions. You guys sent them all into us, and here they are. Oh, yeah. Look at me making the most sense up there. Chiefs and Saints. I like the Falcons. I'm rolling with the Falcons. Well, I love the Falcons. Well, I know, but I'm picking the Falcons to run Way to be a homer. Yeah. Way to be a homer. Look, how am I going to be a homer with that kind of potential they got? Huh. Now, oh, I mean, yeah. the kind of potential that the Falcons have, and let me just tell you this, this Falcons team reminds me of 2017. The team that lost in Philadelphia when Julio, you know, the past, the whole nine, where there were questions about, you know, the play calling. So to me, this team is 2017, but I'll tell you the difference in this Falcons team in the red zone, Austin Hooper. So as well as the only true option they thought about when Julio went for the pass and all that, that's the 17 team. I believe the 19 team with Ridley and Austin Hooper, I think they're going to be a lot better in the red zone. So I think this 2019 team, I think they're going to win the Super Bowl. At least have a let chance me, to let, let me at least be in the yeah, conversation. Like they're going to be in the conversation. Let's have a conversation about this, bub. What? He found out about Whoa. Austin Hooper when I put that Madden on him <laughs> with the Falcons. <laughs> and Austin Hooper We've been blazed him for three touchdowns. We're in the over 40 league. <laughs> Madden not, league. Not a lot of hype this year. They're a little under the radar. I say look out for Atlanta. And Kansas City was an offsides away from going to the Super Bowl Seahawks. last year. Seahawks. What, what is this? It's a memorabilia. So th this, <laughs> this Clearly, was it's not new. Nah, nah seriously. This was... No, it's not. <laughs> 1992, I was a rookie, and Jerry Glanville would give this award away for special teams. So I had it in my truck, so I just brought it in. And one thing that Jerry said, every time we would uh, do a breakdown, he would say, hit the beach. One, two, three, hit the beach. So this was 1992, 12, 13, 1992. This is an award I got, and that's what they used to give you. Then he used to, he used to throw the $100 uh, stacks back in the day. Jerry used to make it rain, so when you would win this award, he'd have 100 rolled up, and he'd toss it to you, didn't he, Bob? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, but Jerry was making it rain back in the day. That's the artifact. Yeah, it is. Let's look at your Super Bowl picks. 
Well, I already said what I'm going to say. I got the Falcons. So y'all <laughs> already beat me down about the Falcons. I got the Seahawks. I like the defense. I like what Adam Clowney is going to help them a great deal. I agree. I think also, that offense is just it's productive and it's consistent. I said the Patriots, be, just because they're champions now, and it's so early in the season, they still champions now. <laughs> <laughs> I like Atlanta. I think it's their time. I think Ryan's going to win one. I love where all of your heads are at, even under the there hit go. the beach helmet hit there. The beach. Well, speaking of the Falcons, it's Falcons at Vikings. We've got a situation with Julio. Hopefully, this thing is kind of resolving itself already. But new how money, more money, new well, money, yeah. more money. They gonna get it done. This is a money they, they, episode. They get it done. Nah, no worries about that. Julio deserves the money. He's fantastic. The best wide receiver in the organization's history. Number two is right here. <laughs> Number two. All right, we got hey, man, you. I'm stumbling I'm a little bit right there. <laughs> but what we need to worry about what? is that offensive line, that right tackle spot with mm -hmm. Daniel Hunter from the Michigan Vikings, whatever Michigan Vikings, Minnesota Vikings, <laughs> Minnesota Michigan Vikings, yeah. USFL. <laughs> exactly. But Minnesota Vikings defensive front against the Atlanta Falcons offensive line, especially the right side. Well, I think, what were you going to say, Jeff? And you gotta, they got to rush the quarterback. Don't let Cousins get comfortable because he'll pick you apart. I think it starts with protection. I think the Falcons, anytime Matt Ryan gets protection, he throws the ball. I'm a big Matt Ryan fan. When Matt is protected, he gets the job done. So we'll see what happens. Minnesota has a ferocious front seven. But I think if the Falcons protect Matt Ryan, maybe get a little running game in here, mix it and not become one-dimensional, I think the Falcons will have an opportunity to handle that business in Minnesota. I need to see more of Mohamed Sanu. Yeah. I, I agree. More. I agree. We talk about Ridley and Jones and all yeah. that and Hooper, Hopper, but Sanu <laughs> is the guy. I mean, you got to get him the football. Jeffrey, who's your pick? I like Atlanta. I think four. I think they could win in Minnesota, and I think it's the beginning of a good year. And I like where your head is at. Like I said earlier, guys. When we come back, Dr. Elamine checks in with his player injury report. It's coming up on Play to Win. Some of you are Honda owners and some of you are Toyota owners, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Would you be surprised to hear that Honda is the most reliable car company? Honda's reliable. Well, it's actually not Honda. Really? What? Oh, Toyota. It's not Toyota either. Oh. Chevy. Based on a nationwide survey, Chevy is more reliable than Toyota and Honda. Wow. Get $4,500 total cash allowance on select Equinox vehicles in stock when you finance with GM Financial. That's 16% below MSRP on this Chevy Equinox. Georgia drives Chevy. Find new roads. Longhorn's Cookout isn't something you want to miss, because that'd mean missing our fire-grilled ribeye, sides that turn a meal into a feast, hanging with your closest friends, and missing all that would be, you know, sad. Come in for our limited-time Longhorn Cookout with the unforgettable 18-ounce fire-grilled outlaw ribeye, Longhorn's new mixed grill, and our famous full-rack baby back ribs with steakhouse mac and cheese. That's how steak is done. Longhorn Steakhouse. You can't fake steak. This is it. <laughs> <gasps> Hi, sleepyhead. Big head. man on campus. Oh. Just dropping by for a little weekend hang time. Mm. Smaller than I thought. Um, do I know you guys? Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Do you know the people who sent you to college? <laughs> How's the GPA? Uh, 4.0. Nobody's perfect. Janet, huh? what are you doing? Sorry, so disorganized. <laughs> He's not three years old anymore. Play the Georgia Lottery and help students go to college on the Hope Scholarship. They may not be your kids, but it kind of feels that way. Today's player, medical and injury report is being brought to you by the Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute. Welcome back to Play to Win with Dr. E for our player medical injury report. We've got some injuries around the league, and it looks like most of them are wide receivers. That's right. We're going to talk about wide receivers to start off the NFL season. We're going to start off with A.J. Green, you know, the speedster from the Cincinnati uh, Bengals. He pretty much went under uh, ankle surgery, and as a result, he may play. They think he may play, but I don't think he's going to be out for about two or three games. Hey, yeah, that's a long time. Well, we got a super, right right? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Absolutely right. Amari Cooper, the next guy. We know he is the, the superstar from uh, Dallas. He's dealing with heel, foot, ankle injuries. They say he will play, but he's going to be limited. I think he's going to have some issues this season. Next one is Deshaun Jackson. He's also the speedster from Philadelphia. As you know, he also broke his, his uh, left ring finger. So if you have a broken finger, you can't really catch the ball. So we're really worried about yeah, that. And that's right. He's going to be out. So I don't think he's going to be out for a couple of weeks. All right. Uh, DK Metcalf, the uh, right receiver, the tight end from the uh, Seattle Seahawks. He's also dealing with some minor knee surgery he had. So he should be back, but he may be very limited this season. 
And now the kill Harry, that's the uh, the Patriots uh, uh, rookie. That's a rookie that they, they drafted. Gem. The gem, right? He's got an ankle injury. He's on injured reserve, so he's going to be out for a couple of weeks. Yeah, it's early, but these wide receivers are already having some really bad luck right now. Yes, they are. But you need these guys to be to be healthy in order to win. So yeah, we'll I mean, it's like can, you can't play the game without them. So let's That's get right. them back in there, guys. When we come back, it's time for our lightning round and Jeffrey the Ed Schechter's picks. Stay with us on Play to Win. Athletes of all levels experience more wear and tear than most. Stop playing through the pain. Get the proper medical attention you need from Dr. El Amin and the staff at the Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute. Our team includes specialists in many fields offering compassionate care and advanced treatments that will get you back in the game. From weekend warriors to athletes of all levels, we've got your back and shoulder and ankle and knee. Call today for an appointment or visit theshouldernation.com. We've owned a few different houses through the years. Your company was absolutely the best. They were so professional. Everything they did, they didn't get a mark on a wall or anything else. It was clean, it was friendly, and it was fun. And most of the time, moving is not fun. I'm going to give a great recommendation to Atlanta Peach Movers. It's always on time and it's always professional. There is no tree in Atlanta Peach Movers. To schedule your move, call Atlanta Peach Movers today. Oh, I'm glad you found it. Oh, we were just happy to get some time away. You're the first couple to try our new bed and breakfast bundle. It's bed and breakfast in the same room. You wake up to the smell of coffee and bacon, made by a private chef, right there. So we're sleeping in the kitchen. Well, I'm sure you'll write a better than that for the review. Stuck in a bad bundle? Get a great one. Bundle AT&T Fiber and Direct TV and get a $100 reward card. Limited availability may not be in your area. More for your thing. That's our thing. Call 1-877-ONLY-ATT. Today's lightning round is being brought to you by Moe's Southwest Grill. Come in today. Welcome back. We are not going to keep you waiting any longer. It is now finally time for the lightning round and Jeffrey the Edge Schechter's picks. Cincinnati's another good team in the AAC. And I think they can give Ohio State a game. Take the 16 and a half. Mel Tucker's the new coach of Colorado. Nebraska doesn't have much of a defense. I think Colorado covers the four and a half at home against Nebraska. And Mac Brown is back. He won his first one. I think he wins the second one to take the Tar Heels plus five. I think the Rams are going to put a beating on Carolina. Carolina is in for a tough year. Give the three with the Rams. Look out for the Giants. I think another team under the radar. Take the seven with the Giants against Dallas. And Frisco plus one. I think Frisco is another team to look out for. I think they beat Tampa on Sunday. Tamper. Tamper. That, tamper. And that's the gospel. Chuck, you look like you got to say something. No, look, all I want to say is this. And this is something that I've been thinking about. We'll talk about this on the podcast, Bob. Aaron Donald, L.A. Rams, Aaron Donald is the fastest player to ever make the Hall of Fame. Today he's a Hall of Famer, I believe, in five years. It's been debated with me and some other people now, but... What? This is like us picking the Super Bowl no. this week. What? He in the Hall of Fame hey, all of a sudden, man. Go ahead. And, if Davis can get in there, what he played, T-Mac? Six years? Yes. From Broncos? Aaron Donald, two-time back-to-back defensive player of the year. It's going to be a good debate, but already a Hall of Famer. Well, you heard it there first with Chuck, guys. Thank you for putting up with us and our, shen our shenanigans for another week here on Play to Win. We'll be back next week. Make sure you find all of us online where the conversation continues and on our podcast. podcast. We'll see you guys back next week. Today's show has been brought to you by Moe's Southwest Grill the Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute, and your Atlanta Nissan dealers.